that she misled the American people over and over and over again while under federal investigation. Do you think New York State should recognize gay marriage? No. No. Okay. I believe that marriage is between a man and a woman. I do not support gay marriage. I was a Goldwater girl. I'm very proud that I was a Goldwater girl. Goldwater was against the 64 Civil Rights Act. 40,000 people, half of them Negroes, demonstrate against Goldwater. I am compelled to urge uh, Negroes and all people of good will to vote against him. His election would be a tragedy and certainly suicidal almost for the nation and the world. My political beliefs are rooted in the conservatism that I was raised with. I feel sorry sometimes for the young people who, you know, believe this. Uh, they don't do their own research. The unborn uh, person uh, doesn't have constitutional rights. Are you saying that a child on its due date, just hours before delivery, still has no constitutional rights? Under our law, that is the case. So in the uh, third trimester right. of pregnancy, uh, there is room for uh, looking at the life. So you're saying your opinion on gay marriage changed, or you changed your mind? <laughs> you know, I really, I have to say, I think you are um, being was, very persistent, but you are playing with my words and playing with what is such an I'm just trying to clarify issue. so I can understand. No, I don't think you are trying to clarify. <laughs> He's a very um, arrogant um, person to deal with, um, which I think is a combination of this vision of Russia and some fundamental insecurity. I could have told him he was a KGB agent. By definition, he doesn't have a soul. I mean, this is a waste of time, right? Как минимум, государственный деятель должен иметь голову. Only a few days ago, she said that what Russia is doing in Eastern Europe resembles what Hitler was doing in the 1930s. Mrs. Clinton has never been too graceful in her statements. When people push boundaries too far, it's not because they are strong, but because they are weak. I remember landing under sniper fire. There was supposed to be some kind of a greeting ceremony at the airport, but instead we just ran with our heads down to get into the vehicles. Her arrival in Bosnia was not quite as dramatic as Clinton put it. Memory should always match the videotape. I have been a critic of NAFTA from the very beginning. I think that uh, uh, NAFTA is proving its worth. They are going to people showing videos of Donald Trump insulting Islam and Muslims in order to recruit more radical jihadists. The fact checkers have said that she was wrong. All my grandparents, you know, came uh, over here and... Turns out only one was an immigrant, three were not. During the parade in which she participated, her campaign roped off reporters so they wouldn't interfere with the candidate. Clinton operatives blasted reporters camped across the street from an outdoor fundraiser and white noise or static noise so that reporters couldn't hear what she was telling the donors. Hi, Secretary Clinton, will you release a transcript of your paid speeches to Goldman Sachs? Uh, no, there's a lot of controversy over the speeches. When Hillary voted to authorize the war in Iraq in 2002, Clinton promoted the war-torn country as a place where American corporations could make big money. It's time for the United States to start thinking of Iraq as a business opportunity.
but you will not find that I ever changed a view or a vote because of any donation that I ever received. You tell a story that, to me, illustrates what has happened to our political system in regard to the middle class, in regard to democracy and the country as a whole, and it involves Hillary Clinton. I had written an op-ed about a piece of pending bankruptcy legislation. Um, uh, the credit card companies have been pushing to try to tighten the bankruptcy laws, uh, sort of like locking the doors to the hospitals and then claiming nobody's sick in America. Um, so they were trying to get the bankruptcy laws constrained, constricted, so that fewer families could get in. Why? Because you can make more money if those families don't go into bankruptcy, if you're a, a credit lender. Mrs. Clinton evidently saw... The first lady. The yeah. first lady. She was then first lady. This is in the 1990s, uh, late 1990s. Mrs. Clinton saw the piece, and I got a call from the White House. And they said Mrs. Clinton was going to be in town to give a speech in Boston, and would I come and meet with her? Sure. And so I put together all my files. I show up at the appointed place. After she's finished her speech, we're ushered into a tiny little room somewhere in the bowels of this hotel. And just the two of us, they close the door. Mrs. Clinton sits down. We have hamburgers and French fries. And you tutor her. And she says, tell me about bankruptcy. And I got to tell you, I never had a smarter student. Quick, right to the heart of it. I go over the law. It's a complex law. Went over the economics, showed her the graphs, showed her the charts, and she got it. Within 20 minutes, she could play where the rest of it would come. Well, then that will mean this part's happened. That will mean this has happened. I said, yes, that's right. And at the end of the conversation, Mrs. Clinton stood up. She said, let's get our picture taken, which we did. And she said, Professor Warren, we've got to stop that awful bill, referring to this bankruptcy bill that's sponsored by the credit card companies. And when Mrs. Clinton came back with a little better understanding of how it all worked, they reversed course and they reversed course fast. And indeed, the, the proof is in the pudding. The last uh, bill that came before President Clinton was that bankruptcy bill that was passed by the House and the Senate in 2000, and he vetoed it. And in her autobiography, Mrs. Clinton took credit for that veto, and she rightly should. She turned around a whole administration on the subject of bankruptcy. She and got then, it. And then? One of the first bills that came up after she was Senator Clinton was the bankruptcy bill. Uh, this is a bill that's like a vampire. It will not die, right? There's a lot of money behind it. And the it bill just, her husband had vetoed. Her husband had vetoed it very much at her urging. And? She voted in favor of it. Why? As Senator Clinton, the pressures are very different. It's a well-financed industry. Uh, you know, a lot of people don't realize that the industry that gave the most money to Washington over the past few years was not the oil industry, was not pharmaceuticals. It was consumer credit products. Those are the people the credit card companies have been giving money, and they're, they have influence. And Mrs. Clinton was one of them, as Senator. Yeah. She, she has taken money from the groups, and more to the point, she worries about them as a constituency. So what does this mean, though, to these people, these millions of people out there whom the politicians uh, cavort in front of as favoring the middle class and then are beholden to the powerful interests that undermine the middle class? What does it say about politics today? You know, this is the scary part about democracy today. It's, we're talking again about the impact of money. The credit industry on this bankruptcy bill has spent tens of millions of dollars lobbying and as their profits grow they just throw more into lobbying for how they can get laws that will make it easier and easier and easier to drain money out of the out of the pockets of middle class families
That's it, Brian. <laughs>